This is kind of a more lighthearted concern that occurred to me last week when a senator from Vermont said uh, billionaires should not exist. Mm. Uh, as the only billionaire whom I can consult this matter on, Mark, <laughs> what is your perspective on Senator Sanders' statement? Oh. <laughs> um. Good question. All right, so. Whew. All right, so. I, I understand. I understand where he's coming from. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know if I have like an exact threshold on on like on, on what what amount of money someone should have. But but look, I mean, at, at some level, no one deserves to have that much money, right? I mean, that's not like. I don't. It's you know. I think if you do something that's good, you. You, know, you, you get rewarded, but I, but I do think some of these, um, some of the wealth that can be accumulated um, is unreasonable. And I mean, part of, part of this is why um, my wife and I started the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, our philanthropy, and pledged that we're going to give 99% of our Facebook shares away through that um, over over our over our lifetime. Um, but but look, I, I think some of some of this gets to a. A deeper question where I think there are people who would even say even that's bad, right? It's, it's like there shouldn't be an accumulation of private wealth that allows people to, um, you know, it's like we're funding science, for example, and it's like, and some people I think would say, well, is it fair that, um, that you know, a group of, of wealthy people get to, um, to some degree, choose which, which science projects get, get worked on? And, you know, I, I don't know how to, how to answer that exactly. I mean, at it's, it's some level, it's not fair, but it may be um, optimal in, in that it's like, it, or better than the alternative, which is, I think the alternative would be the government chooses all of the funding for all the stuff, which we kind of see. I mean, in science, you have like the NIH, for example, and it has a huge budget compared to you know, anything that philanthropy is going to do, $34 billion a year. And, you know, it's, and, and the way that it executes its budget is basically... Um, you know what you'd kind of expect the politically correct thing to do is you know it it, um, it it gives out a lot of small grants in every single state and university around the country and and generally is not funding a lot of like really big projects um, and I don't know I, I think part of what m makes progress happen is people taking different approaches to different things and I, I think that the NIH is generally funding a lot of great work and it's we're lucky that they exist and I would like them to get funded more right now I've pushed for that um, but I also think it's pretty good that there are other people out there who are trying different approaches but who are willing to to, to fund things and maybe take a bet like you know one of the things that we're doing with CZI is we're funding this human cell atlas project it's you can kind of think about it as like um, you know when you first started studying chemistry there's like the periodic table of elements, which says like, all right, here's basically the foundation of chemistry. Here are the elements, and here's how, how they interact. There isn't that for biology today, right? It's like no one has mapped out the, you know, we think there's like 10,000 different types of cells in the body, and no one's ever made a catalog of, of all of them and how they interact and you know, what are the different states that they can be in and how do you move them between different states. And that's like kind of a, a foundational resource that would help all of science improve. But it's a, a really expensive project. And the NIH, I think, is helping to, to fund it in its own way. But I think having some private funders um, take bets on that. And I don't know, maybe we'll get it wrong and we'll waste a bunch of money. I'm, I'm not sure. But, but I think having different approaches is one of the things that is valuable. And this is like, so I think that that's what, you, I think you want a mix of public and private on all this. And I, I guess what I worry about a little bit when I, when I hear sentiments like, um, like what the senator um, suggested is the suggestion that this should all be done publicly, I think would deprive the market and world of, of a lot of ways, of, of kind of a diversity of different attempts that can be taken. So you know, I think you can think at the same time both that it's unfair that any individual might have that much wealth, yet still think that it's better for everyone that there is certain choice and competition of the ideas that get to get pushed out there.